Hello and welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. My name is Seamus Grady, and what I have here is a new trailer, the uh, Wolf Pup. And um, um, I have some people that care about me deeply, and they uh, bought this for me. So thank you very much for buying this Wolf Pup for me, because I've been enjoying it greatly since I bought it. So I bought it a few days ago in Iowa. And now I'm in Montana. So I've driven over a thousand miles with it so far. And um, I'm just gonna let you guys know what I think of it so far. So, uh, one of the things I noticed is that uh, when you're driving down the freeway and it's super windy, uh, this door does flap open a little bit. So when you travel, you gotta make sure that's, that's locked so it's secured all the way on the other side here. And so, in all fairness, when I was driving through South Dakota, there was crosswinds of like 40 to 50 miles per hour, gusts up to 60 is what I read. I don't know. But um, so this is this is the, com the compartment for the shower nozzle. And um, multiple times throughout my trip or my, my long drive to Montana, uh, this door would flip open. Um, I think it might have been because of the high winds, the high cross wind. But anyways, this is more of a, like a flimsy plastic. So maybe if they would have made that latch a little bit deeper, that would have helped out. But so, oh, and then one last thing. Um, it's not really a con or it's a pro mostly, but um, I bought this, uh, the uh, equalizer hitch. So from what I've been told, it's supposed to help distribute the weight throughout the pickup. So right here. So apparently um, taking the weight here off, mostly the back end. I don't know how the physics works yet in this thing, but I'm going to read into it eventually. But um, be before I bought this, I was living in a ice fishing house that did not have an equalizer a hitch. And um, it made going over bumps a little, a little scary. But with this thing going over bumps, it's not as bad. And also, with this tow package, or whatever they call it, got this sway bar here. So apparently it just goes on right there, right there. And um, so in those crosswinds, uh, the trailer, um, you can actually fishtail a little bit. And um, back to my ice fishing house that I drove, um, one time driving through Montana, there was a good strong crosswind, and I look and I look in my mirror in the ice fishing house. I can definitely see the whole side of it in my mirror, and that was very scary. So um, I don't really have a lot of experience driving in high winds area, but I would say the sway bar did help, and the equalizer hitch does help. So those are just my comments so far from driving this thing over a thousand miles, but um. As, as you can see, it is winter. So when you buy this particular unit, it is not a four season unit. It's a three season unit really because the tanks underneath it, I don't know if you can see that, but they are exposed. So if you want to be using this during the winter, you do want to put heat, heating pads underneath there and insulate that bottom somehow. But, um, so those were my first initial thoughts as I was driving across South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and here in Montana now. But some of the cool features on the outside here. Uh, so of course, this is the compartment door and that goes underneath the bed. Um, oh, this is the Wolf Pup uh, bunkhouse version, 16 feet inside, I believe. I forgot to mention that. And um, here's, 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 here's the door. It's nice and reflecty, but um, the window there, um, another note, did not come with the shade and I don't know if it's supposed to or not, I'm not sure. But anyways, um, oh, the awning. So with this awning here, um, it's all remote, powered by the battery, which is right there. And, uh, oh, but real quick, another thing that kinda, it's like, ah, the propane tank that they have, it's only a, a 20 gallon and you only get one, it's like, ah, uh, okay. So today I went out and bought two 30 gallon tanks. So that's gonna last me, that will not last me for very long. <clears throat> but back to this. 
So um, on the outside here, here is a outdoor fridge. So, well, it's locked right now, but it folds down and there's a fridge, pup kitchen, and um, you can put beverages in there, adult beverages even if you want. And another cool thing with this thing is that you can hook up your Bluetooth to the RV itself and play music through it. And here are some speakers. And then um, if you have a TV, um, they, you, it comes with a bracket to put on the back of the TV. And then there's a bracket holder inside too, but you can put your TV out here even, right here. And then you can even hook up the TV right there. And then there's, there's some outlets right there. So that is pretty neat. And then if you have a dog, you can, uh, you know, I don't know if it's super necessary, but here's a, you can put your leash right there and whatnot. And uh, the spare. And on this side, um, so with the bunkhouse version, there is a, the bunkhouses are in, in the corner here. And then what's really neat is that um, you can, uh, well, there's, there's stuff right there right now, but this can fold up and latch. And then this is extra storage, more storage. Um, this is why I picked this version of this wolf pup was because of the bunkhouse. That was what really changed my mind. Because uh, I'm out here traveling and I'm working, so I share sheep traveling from ranch to ranch and I pretty much live in this trailer six to eight months out of the year really depends on what I'm doing and then here's the the uh, rear water and black water tanks stuff right there and then uh, power back up oh and also these windows um, if you need it to escape you can pop those windows out and crawl out those windows uh, not this one, but this one. You can pop that open, get out. And again, here's um, the shower area for the outdoor shower. When you're showering, just make sure there's nobody on that side watching you shower. And then uh, city water connection, fresh water connection, the exhaust, oh this, is, oh, this is the water heater right here. So what's really cool about this is that it's electric and gas. So those are the fuses for both. And then if you want to switch it, it's right there, on and off with the gas. Right now it's just off because um, I don't want any water in my trailer without winterizing or now not winterizing, but without insulating the fresh water or all the under all of the water tanks. I get this real quick. What the heck? So that was a bit annoying there. Oh, and then one more thing about this plant since, uh, about this trailer since i bought it brand new uh all the keys are kind of hard to get in there i'm um, kind of like with any new key it takes time to kind of get it get the key the edges on the keys are a little sharp so over time i'm sure they'll uh become easier but and then, so here here's that thing pop that open oh another cool thing about the wolf pup is these uh steps they come with steps and when you want to get going just pull them up put it in there there's a little latch right there and um that's uh there's uh these uh these steps they look very stable because uh i've seen uh lots of trailer travel trailers and the steps are not good or flimsy the one thing i really noticed about uh, the wolf pups is the LED lights and they are uh, bright. They're in there everywhere. Got one here, one there, one there. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, and one there. Got another light right here and another light in this bunk. So there are plenty of lights in this trailer. <laughs> Maybe too many lights, uh, maybe even too bright. Um, at night, I find these lights a little too bright for me. Um, my eyes are a little sen sensitive to the lights and whatnot. So, if I could have an option of having like one dimmer light, I would love that option. But back to, uh, I'll just leave those two on. So, um, here's the inside bed um oh i forgot about these lights here you know, let's 
storage area up here a little bit. Here's that other TV bracket with the TV hookups right there. And there is a, an antenna for the TV. And um, I've been told it has a range of, of about 25 miles. And then um, if you want to play a Blu-ray or a DVD player, here are the components for that TV. It's not HDMI. And if you wanted to hook up that Blu-ray DVD player, it'll be right here. And we'll get to we'll get to that in a second. So the TV goes there. Um, I was told to not um, the largest TV suggested would be 24 inches. Um, here's the bed. Um, the bed does come up like so. And as you can see, I've already moved in. That's mostly my work gear, um, roofing and sheep shearing stuff. And that compartment right there, that's where the water heater is. And um, <clears throat> and I was told that as long as I keep the inside here warm and above freezing, uh, that water heater should not freeze. So moving over to the dinette, of course, this moves down into a table. These cushions move out and there is storage in there. And this is where I'm keeping my food. Um, I am half Asian, so I do like noodles and there's a lot of instant noodles in here. And I'm also Asian. My name's Shame Sogrady. So of course I'm Irish, I like potatoes too. Some potatoes right there. And the other end, oh, oof. I thought that bread was about to fall. So the dinette area, oh, and then this thing. So this, that tells the voltage of my battery. And um, that's really nice. So there's a solar panel up top that does charge it when it's not uh, being charged either by my pickup or, um, or uh, by the uh, uh, plug. So if you plug it in, the battery's being charged. If, you, if, it, if you're driving with my pickup, if it's on, the battery's being charged. So that's nice. So um, having, there's multiple ways to charge your battery. In my ice fishing house, I only had one way to charge my battery and that was to plug it in, which uh, at times it got kind of annoying, especially keeping my heater going in the winter. But anyways, so with this thing here, um, it's a radio, so I got the AM right now. Got to turn it on. Mode, Oop. AV not paired, so that's the Bluetooth. HDMI radio. Ooh. Um. But anyways, you can figure out, or you can um, when if you're interested in this, you can toy with yourself. So and then here's the thermostat, um, and that controls the heater, which is right there and runs off the propane. And then um, throughout this uh, trailer, there are outlets like this here, or USB ports, and that is connected to the battery. So it charges your cell phones, DC power to DC power, which is pretty neat. And then, oh, and there's more speakers in here, like so, smoke detector, and um, smoke detector and propane gas detector. Well, you, you can smell the propane anyways. And then this thing here is the AC. And um, so moving over to the bunks, it's so like I said, top bunk, lower bunk, and what made me want to buy this one was the bottom bunk. So this can fold up and be uh, storage from the outside. And there, that's that window they can jump out of. Here's the bathroom, pooper, shower, sink, brushing your teeth and whatnot. So you can take this, put it there. Oh. You get what you mean. This is the gray water stuff. Ooh, I don't, know. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, anyways, bathroom. Vent. And now the fridge. I really like this fridge because um, so here's a safety latch. So keep it closed when you're traveling. Freezer. Fridge. So. Um, I put a thing of orange juice in here and when I was traveling it spilt and everything. So there, right off the bat, I got orange juice everywhere, which was kind of annoying. And uh, before I even drank the orange juice, I was pouring myself a glass on that counter there and I spilt it everywhere. Um, if you know me, it's a very Seamus O'Grady thing to do. Um, just get something nice and you just, just immediately just spill and make it dirty. All right. Um, so, and then, uh, so here's the fuses. And with this thing here, if you want to disconnect the power from the battery, so everything right now currently is being run by the battery, you just uh, turn that thing and pull it, and then that kills the battery. 
and uh, yeah, then you can run off of uh, AC power. But this fridge here, it's also ran by the battery, and um, um, and that's connected to the panel or whatever. Well, anyways, if you want to keep the fridge running just on the battery alone, um, I was told it can keep it going for about eight hours, which is pretty nice, and that's with no charging. So if the solar panel isn't charging it or if you're not charging it by the plug or the pickup, eight hours. You have to keep things cold and frozen. So anyways, moving on to this little kitchen here. Got the microwave. Voila. Light, fan. Um, turn this on here. There you go. So turn it, get the gas going, push it in to ignite it. Oh, is it? Okay. Very, very nice. And then here's the uh, sink. Got some cleaning supplies in there from when I was cleaning up the orange juice. Now the compartment here, some more clean supplies and some cooking stuff. My protein powder. And then uh, down here, more storage. Um, my kettle, the rice, the rice cooker's in there. And then um, right there, and then the coffee maker. I love coffee. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, and a fire extinguisher. And then finally, over here, we have some controls. Um, this is to turn on the water pump, water heater, and then this is for the awning. And then um, this is lights outside, awning lights. Ooh. And uh, why not? And then here, here's the battery test. I got two thirds, fresh water, empty, gray water, or black water, empty. And gray water tank empty battery all right they're still good on that battery well anyways that's my walkthrough with my uh, camper oh i'm sorry in shades up down this is this is the only one that doesn't go up and down um i mean it can you just gotta un un unhook that um this is the uh yeah the, uh, the old traditional um thing i don't know what you call it but anyways, oh, and there are outlets too. Well, anyways, thank you for watching my walkthrough and my first initial thoughts after driving over a thousand miles. The little knickknacks that that are annoying, but it's like, what can you do about it? And and, um, and uh, if you enjoyed that video, please smash that like button. And if you look, if you want to uh, follow my journey, living in this trailer, not living in this trailer, but working and traveling in this trailer, please subscribe. I know that there's many other things going on in my channel, but I'm gonna have a specific uh, Wolf Pup Travel Trailer channel, not channel, but uh, playlist where I only do updates on my uh, trailer and the problems I run into and the pros, cons, and the fun things I do with it. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. And I forgot, shout out to Susie for uh, selling this thing to me. I showed up, she had everything ready for me to just pick it up and go, and I changed my mind on everything. She was a little frustrated, but she pulled through. Thank you, Susie. And thank you, Dave, for running through this thing with me.